Hi. Hey, welcome back guys. I'm glad to see you. Hope you're all doing well. Today we got some really special shoes to take a look at. Um, you can even see on the box here, it's not the usual kind of a Nike box. Uh, so this will get really special very fast, I believe. First off, a toast to you guys. Mm, that's good. Alright, so we got the Nike SB Force 58 and uh, let's jump right in and have a look. First off, you can see uh, they came like this, so it's a really bad delivery. Uh, that happens sometimes, I guess even the box here is kind of ugly actually, <laughs> to be honest. I can feel some smell through the holes there, so uh, let's jump right in and see what we got. Alright, so we got some paper. This is really bad, folks. This is not okay. So, let's see. Let's see this. SB, you know, it's really a skater shoe. But I know you can use every Nike shoe for whatever, of course. Here you can see in the box. I gotta be honest here. These looks... A bit ugly, actually. Maybe one of the ugliest Nikes I ever ordered, to be frankly honest with you. Yeah, even the look here is, not, even the smell, I mean, is really bad here. Let's get them out. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta be honest here, these are really not my kind of go to shoes. Uh, <laughs> These are really ugly, I gotta be honest there. Uh, you get a sticker, a Nike sticker, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, you can see Nike and the SP and the big Nike logo is a sticker, you can put that on everything, you, whatever you get. Let's take this ugly box, also, even the box here is ugly. And you can obviously see the shoes too. Let's get that off to the side. Yeah. This is what I really would like to do with these shoes, okay? Nah, let's get uh, serious here, <laughs> okay? Um, some of you guys will, of course, like these shoes and maybe use them for skating or just for everyday use. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's definitely not for me. I can't even see why the skaters want to have these on the feet. Uh, let's be honest here, they are not pretty uh, at all. Uh, I gotta say, one of the things with the shoe that makes it extremely ugly, yeah, the smell is sitting on the bottom here, is the bottom. Because I don't know what they did here. Why not just make it white as the rest of the shoe or in uh, the more beige tone you get on the, on the leather here. Uh, I mean, the green on the bottom here is not doing it for me. It's really, really just not, just not okay, you know? And it smells, I don't know what it is. It smells like an old toilet or something. And this green color is really just horrible. Uh, it don't match up at all with the colorway. I guess if it was all white or something like that, it would be an okay shoe, you know? Uh, I gotta say the quality is definitely here, but I got uh, of course it's a skating shoe You need some heavy quality if you are skating in them So you can see it's really reinforced on the sides with leather and stuff and uh, I guess the top of the shoe is Okay <laughs> And the bottom is just horrible uh, So yeah, maybe in another colorway this will function, uh, but nah, I just don't see it. We got the big, beautiful Nike logo on the side here uh, in blue. Again, not matching up really well with the shoe. Uh, we got the blue little Nike logo on the front. We also got one on the bottom, as you can see. We got. Uh, a Nike logo on the inside on the bottom in the same color as the bottom here. It's all white on the inside so if you are a skater and if you are planning to skate in them as I figure 
some of you may may want to do with these shoes, even though they are ugly as, yeah, you know. Uh, you will really, 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 really fast get them dirty because of all the white on the inside. And uh, so I don't know, maybe not the best color in the world for the top either if you want to skate on them. It will get dirty after five minutes of skating. I'm sure of that. But the quality is there. If you want to know, it's really, really, really durable and super quality wise, it's, it seems to be up top there. Uh, reinforced in the back too, as you can see. Suede on the, on the front and on the top and on the back and heavy, heavy rubber on the sides here, as you can see. These are, this is really thick and really hard and I, I guess the quality there is super. Um, are they comfortable on the feet? No, they are not comfortable on the feet either. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. I guess if you're skating, you may run around and you're active and stuff. These are no good for running or to be active in or nothing like that. And they are not looking good either. So I don't know. Why would you go for these shoes? I don't know. You tell me in the comment section. Do you love them? Would you wear these shoes? I mean, just look at the bottom before you answer that. Why? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> so now we know it's not, it's not, it's, it's not just the most disgusting smelling shoes ever from Nike's. It's also the worst shoes on the feet, and it also looks the worst. So this gotta be the ugliest Nikes ever. I'm sure of that. It gotta be up there. Uh, I can't even figure out what shoes to set uh, to to get up there with them. It's this is just the top. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section. What do you think? Do you love them? Do you like them? Uh, or you want to do like me, just throw them away maybe, <laughs> you know. I will just give this away to, uh, to a homeless guy or something, I think. Uh, sometimes I do that. Uh, not because they are ugly, because the homeless guy really... Yeah, why not? He needs some shoes and he won't complain, so it's perfect for that. I might do a video on that later. I might wait till the summer, but... So you guys can see that I'm really doing it. I'm not just saying it, I actually do that sometimes. Uh, for the homeless guys, uh, sometimes I give them some money and some food too, uh, especially around there if I see someone. Yeah, let's do a real shoe test. <laughs>